Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening up our birch box for August 2019. This box is $15 a month and you get five hair care, skin care, makeup uh, samples catered to you. This box has been sort of like hit or miss with me, uh, but I did really enjoy it last month's box, so let's just go ahead and see what we have in this month's box. As always, if I don't know if something is cruelty free at the time of filming, I always put that in the description box right down there, as well as researching the sample size values of everything. Uh, break that down in the box down there as well, so make sure you're always opening that up to see whether we're getting a good value or not. Okay, let's just go ahead and open this up. Okay, so once you have it opened, it looks just like this. So we have another little box inside our box. I always like these, I like to save these. They're always just really cute. I enjoy these a lot. Okay, so we have a little card right here that's going to tell us everything we're getting in here as well as their full size values. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out is a Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment from the brand Living Proof. They are cruelty free. I don't know if I've tried this exact item from them, but I just got last month, I think it was a shampoo thing from one of my boxes. I'm not sure if it was this one. Um, but yeah, I definitely will give this a try. I always like the way their stuff smells. It always smells like really clean. So yeah, it smells really good. I will definitely give this a try. The full size value of this is $28, so it is a little bit pricey in my opinion, but if you really care about your hair, I guess sometimes it's worth it. Okay, so the next thing I am pulling out is from Lipstick Queen, which I believe is not cruelty free. The only thing I've ever seen from this is that weird like lipstick changing thing, which I'm not sure if that's what this is. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's actually really cute. I'm not gonna swatch this, um, but wow. So there's the color, it's like a magenta, like a, like if hot pink and magenta had a baby, like that's what I'd call that. It is a color I do like, I like having like a bold lip, I'm not really, um, I don't turn away from too many lip colors, I guess is how I would put that. This is the shade Mrs. Right though, and I will probably just go ahead and put this uh, into a giveaway. That does feel full size, it looks full size. Um, and the full size value is $24. So I would definitely research I'd find out that it is full size. Uh, but that's not a bad thing to get in here if you are uh, into that. Okay, <clears throat> the next thing I am pulling out is from a brand called Marcel. There it is. I've not heard of this brand. This is a tinted cream, SPF 25. Mine is light to medium, which is uh, a good shade for me. I don't really like tinted moisturizers that much. I just don't think they have enough coverage in my opinion. Uh, but let's go ahead and give this a little swatch to see how much coverage it gets. Here's what the little bottle looks like. So it's a decent sample size. So yeah, it definitely has very little coverage. It is a little light for me. I mean, it blends in okay, but it does seem just a one shade too light, but I think you can always uh, darken up something like that with bronzer, so. It doesn't really smell like anything. I don't know why I smelled it. The full size value of that is $22. So I do like that it has SPF. I do wear SPF every day, that's awesome. Uh, so I will research that to see if it is cruelty free. I guess this would be something good for like a no makeup makeup day. Well, there's that. I guess I should mention it's the Marcel City Tinted Cream. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out is from a brand I've never heard of. So this is from Comfort Zone. It's the Essential Face Wash. It's a gentle foaming cleanser. Very simple packaging, which I do like. It smells pretty good. I definitely will research that to see if it's cruelty free. I like, I've said it a million times, but I like saving little things like this for when I travel so I don't have to take like a full size cleanser. I can just take something small like this and then you're able to put it into your carry-on if that's what you do. So yeah, got that and the full size value of that is $32. So again, a little bit pricey. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out uh, is from Pure Lease, I think that's how you say it. 
So this is a watermelon energizing sheet mask. It's moisturizing and soothing for all skin types. I do like sheet masks, but I'm not a huge fan of watermelon scented things, but I definitely will try it. I do love the packaging, it's super, super cute. Let's see, and the full size value of this is $18, so I assume other masks come in there. I have tried masks from Pure Lease before. Uh, they're not bad, I mean, it's a sheet mask, so that's cool. Okay, the last thing I have in here is weird, I'm not gonna lie, this is from Dr. Lip. This is the original nipple balm for dry, luscious lips and glossy bits. So it says, <laughs> one product, a hundred uses, where you apply it is your business. That's definitely very interesting. <laughs> it does say it's not tested on animals, so that's good. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay. It doesn't smell like anything. So that's good, I guess, if you're putting it on your nipples. It feels like Vaseline, like a, even maybe thicker than Vaseline, like, but it has that sort of like sticky feel. I don't really have a need for nipple balm, but I'm always in need of lip balm, so definitely interesting. I've never gotten something like this in a subscription box, so that's kind of neat. Uh, the full size value of that is $16.50. So it doesn't seem too overpriced. But here's some other uses for it. Let's look at that. Uh, rehydrate, rehydrate skin and lips, soothes sunburns, tame unruly brows, and nourish thirsty cuticles. So I like those uses. I don't think I'm going to be putting it on my nipples. But I guess if you're like a mother or something like that and you're using your nipples for uh, breastfeeding or something, it might come in handy for you. I just, I don't have a use for it, on that area of my body. But anyways, uh, that's everything I got in this box. This was actually a pretty good box, I think. I got I got two makeup items with the the tinted moisturizer and the lipstick. I have this skincare item with the face wash. I have a hair item. I also have another skin item with the mask and then the nipple thing, which I guess is for everywhere. So overall, I really like this box. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this box, and if you get this box, uh, let me know what you got in your box. As always, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this from me, more unboxings, all that good stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.